This is Smart Pizza, and in today's hour-long episode, I'll show you the most incredible and spectacular animal fights that have been caught on camera. Rescues from the clutches of predators at the very last moment, crazy primate attacks, clashes between Africa's bitter enemies, battles of the biggest herbivores as well as huge clams. All this is waiting for you in our compilation. Let's find out which creature is the real king and menace of the animal world. Let's go! The Jaguar Attacking the Crocodile This beautiful jaguar turns into a real water monster when it decides to attack a crocodile swimming peacefully in the river. It jumps into the river and grabs its prey. The big cat did it so good that the crocodile could do nothing to defend itself. And this jaguar decided to attack a more serious opponent. It chose an alligator as its opponent. But the alligator was not so simple. Though this particular reptile was small, it managed to perform a very cool trick. As soon as the jaguar tried to attack the alligator, it reacted instantly, grabbed the big cat with its powerful jaws, and threw it into the pond like a toy. The spotted predator fled in terror from such a formidable opponent. Watering Hole As you notice, the fight between the jaguar and the alligator took place near the water. Animals in general often sort out their relationship near bodies of water. And for aquatic predators, a waterhole is the perfect place to ambush them. See for yourself. The harnessed bushback antelope has come to quench its thirst. The water seems calm, but an angry crocodile is already hiding in it. The reptile lunged, but the antelope skillfully dodged at the very last moment. Though dodged is an understatement, it literally flew out of the watering hole like a bullet. Maybe the crocodile just got unlucky. Should we give it another try? This time it was visited by a warthog. This African boar is quietly quenching his thirst when suddenly it's attacked by a reptile. Despite its big weight, the warthog jumped up and removed its limbs from under the crocodile's teeth and then fled. It seemed that this was the same crocodile that screwed up the antelope hunt. Apparently, it should be awarded the title of Africa's most unlucky hunter. You're an embarrassment to nature. Do you know that? This is cake and fire. But in general, crocodiles are very tough hunters. If they catch their prey, it'll be very difficult for the prey to escape. Let's see how this antelope does it. Tourists saw a crocodile dragging a young antelope underwater and turned on the camera. Apparently, the grip was tight. The antelope tried to break free but failed. The fight between the animals lasted about two minutes. The cloven-hoofed animal fought desperately for life. It was in this moment when all hope had faded. Broke free from the jaws of the crocodile at the very last moment. It can go lick its wounds and celebrate the victory. But all the antelope's plans were foiled by the leopard, which quickly neutralized the weakened poor fellow. Meat Grinder Even one crocodile is already a dangerous unit. But what about a whole group of these reptiles? It's exactly what we see here. The monkeys got into a real meat grinder, getting into the pond with the toothy monsters. And we can see that some of the monkeys jump into the pond on purpose to meet their death. But they don't care. It's as if apes are teasing the reptiles, and every time they get away from them at the very last moment. Leopard and Antelope There's an impala grazing under a tree. At first glance, there's nothing unusual. But there's one thing. There's a leopard hiding in the tree. You can't see it yet because of the lush branches. And now we see the cat's leap. The impala had practically no chance. Now it's at the mercy of the predator. The tragedy of the situation is heightened by the baboons, which start jumping around as if they want to interfere. Here's a similar situation. What a graceful leap by the leopard. The prey is already in its teeth. And here comes the mad attack on the impalas right off the ground. The predator got as close as possible to the harmless animals, ran, and carried out its plan. Leopards, of course, are tough predators, but they're still far from lions. At least, that's what many people think. It's believed that lions are perfect hunters. They're called the kings of the jungle for a reason. However, even such hunters have their bad days. This footage shows a lioness hunting an antelope. The cloven-hoofed creature managed to escape from the predator, but two more big cats met it on the way. The antelope came up with nothing better than to jump over the predators, and it succeeded. It did it very beautifully, just like in Hollywood movies. 
Then the antelope jumped into the water. The lionesses, which had increased in number, did not like to get into the water, so they went around. That was enough time for the antelope to escape. By waiting. And here comes the male. The king of the jungle knows that it's the master of its territory, so it proudly and leisurely wades across the river. Although the lion is indeed the king of the jungle, the water's not its element. Dangerous crocodiles reign there, and they're eager to get a hold of anyone. But the lion's not that simple. As soon as the crocodile tries to attack and bite it, the big cat instantly reacts and avoids the blow. The crocodile chased the lion away, but it didn't get its lunch. Choke. And here's the savanna, the lion's real element. Here lions hunt many animals, including zebras, one of their favorite delicacies. The queen of the jungle attacked the zebra, felled it, and began to perform a chokehold. As a rule, lions kill their prey precisely by strangulation, not by a paw strike or a deadly bite. It seems that the zebra is about to die, but at the last moment it finds strength and breaks the grip, and in a moment it's completely free and escapes from the predator, kicking it a couple of times in the face with its powerful hooves. Hyenas and Antelopes Many people think of hyenas as scavengers, but in fact they're quite capable of feeding themselves. When the sun goes down, they go out to hunt. This time it's not a good time for this herd of wildebeest. While they're tweaking the grass, a clan of hyenas already surrounds them. Then the hyenas pick out the weakest animals and try not to lose sight of them. And when all the preparations are done, a clan of hyenas bursts into the herd of cloven-hoofed mammals, causing a commotion while not forgetting to cut off escape routes. When the herd reaches the right condition of chaos, the hyenas separate the weakest, surrounding them and pounce on them. At that, no one should be distracted for anything. The clan is big, and everyone wants to eat, so one can stay hungry. So far, all the action is taking place in warm climes. And what about the winter battles? We shouldn't forget about the polar bear. After all, it's one of the most dangerous and largest predators, not only in the Arctic, but also on the planet. These bears hunt many animals, including seals. This is just such a prey. I am not your prey. I am not your prey. I am not your prey. The predator has long been on the lookout for a lone seal resting on the ice floe. At the climax, the bear attacks the animal, and it looks like the seal's finished, but it masterfully slides off the ice floe and dives into the cold water. The bear dives after it, and a few seconds later, it comes back up. As you can see, the seal managed to swim away. Ninja Let's go back to the warm climates to look at ninjas. No, we won't go to Japan because there are real ninja masters among the animals of American New Jersey as well. A hawk spotted a squirrel in a tree and decided to attack it, but the squirrel was incredibly agile. It not only evaded the attack, but did it as effectively as possible. It was as if it was showing off on purpose for the camera. Last-minute rescues are impressive, but sometimes the prey not only eludes the predator but also fights back. Take, for example, elephants. These seemingly peaceful giants are able to chase away the king of the jungle or even the whole pride. Elephant confrontations with lions, crocodiles, and hippos are further in this episode. African bush elephants are considered to be the main giants of Africa, and at the same time some of the calmest and even kindest animals in Africa. But is this really the case? Is it true that the elephant is a calm and non-aggressive animal? How, for example, does it behave when it meets the queen of the jungle? See for yourself. In this footage taken by tourists in Zimbabwe, we see a young lioness and its cubs resting among the bushes. The mother takes the cubs aside, and cars with tourists cautiously follow them. Soon the lioness, leaving its cubs behind, disappears into the bushes, and a few moments later, people hear the squeal of a young female elephant. It turned out that the predator had clawed at its muzzle. It would seem that the lioness is a natural-born hunter. That should be able to knock down even such a giant as an elephant. But still, the forces are unequal. It's better for lions never to mess with elephants alone, because it's simply pointless. In the end, the lioness only hurt the elephant a little, but didn't cause it much harm. The lioness was never able to get its food for its cubs and took them further away, 
to a place where she might have better luck. Okay, one lioness won't do anything to an elephant, but what about several lions at once, or rather an entire pride? A pride of lions would certainly kill an elephant, wouldn't it? Let's have a look. Fortunately, we have some footage taken a few years ago in Zambia. The cameraman managed to film 14 hungry lionesses chasing a young elephant that had broken away from the herd, surrounding it and attacking it. The forces are not equal. The lionesses literally jeer at it and even leap onto it. But as long as it stands on its feet, it's in no danger. These animals have very tough skin, which is up to 4 centimeters thick. Although it's sensitive to various damages, big cats are unable to penetrate such armor with their claws and teeth alone. Still, the numerical advantage has its effect on the giant. The elephant is gradually losing strength, so it makes a great decision. It ran into the water directly with one of the lionesses on its back and threw it off. When the lionesses started chasing it in the water, it turned around and chased after them itself. Victory for the elephant. It realized that it would be much easier to win in the water because lions don't really like water and once again proved that big cats are better off not messing with elephants. Crocodile What about another of Africa's dangerous predators, the crocodile? Maybe it could at least teach the elephants a lesson. In fact, it did, at least partly. In the footage taken in southern Malawi in 2017, we see the drama at a waterhole where a herd of elephants came to drink. A dangerous reptile was lurking in the water. Waiting for a moment, the crocodile grabbed the elephant by the trunk. The situation was dangerous. The adults trumpeted and started to retreat, but the incident did not turn into a tragedy. One of the elephants helped the baby elephant free its trunk and chase the predator away. But that's not always the case, and I don't even mean that crocodiles sometimes prevail over elephants. Sometimes the reptiles don't even have time to attack because the elephants eliminate them ahead of time. In this footage, taken in Zambia, tourists witnessed an epic scene. A female elephant brought a baby elephant to a watering hole and decided to pre-clear the area. The crocodile was at a distance from the couple. There was no risk to the baby, but the mother decided not to wait for potentially dangerous actions from the reptile. It approached the crocodile itself and began pushing it away. It had no tusks, which didn't stop it from using its strong jaws and trunk. Its aggression grew before crocodile's eyes, and then the elephant began to violently trample the enemy. The elephant picked up its prey and threw it back, crushing the crocodile with its powerful legs. An adult female elephant can weigh between 2.7 and 3.6 tons, so the crocodile had no chance to survive. I feel sorry for it because it didn't do anything. In general, the watering hole is a sacred place for elephants. They, more than anyone else, do not tolerate strangers during bathing and thirst quenching. Here's another proof of that. Two rhinos, a mother and a baby, came to the water hole. Soon, two elephants gathered to quench their thirst, and one of them decided not to share territory with other animals. The female rhino spotted the danger in time and got between the elephant and its baby. You can see that it wanted to fight the elephant to the bitter end, but that decision turned out to be rash. The sturdy elephant forcefully pushed it away. The baby got in the way and rolled over with a squeal. This is National Geographic. Oh my God, baby. Rising to its feet, the young rhino ran away, and its mother for some time still tried to defend itself. However, it pretty quickly realized that it shouldn't mess with the elephant, so it also left the scene of the battle. The elephant chased the couple for some time but soon gave up the chase. In fact, elephants don't really like rhinos in general. Even when it's not at a watering hole, there can be conflict. In this footage, we see a confrontation between an elephant and a rhino. For the first seconds of the conflict, the elephant began to show that it was its territory. The giant was pushing the rhino, as if squeezing it out of its territory. This didn't help much. The stubborn rhino preferred to demonstrate its power, but it did not succeed. The elephant picked up a large log from the ground and threw it with force. This maneuver made the rhino to change its mind, and the horned creature hastily retreated. Hippos Elephants are not very fond of hippos either. On occasion, they're always ready to teach them a lesson. For example, in this footage, taken by tourists in South Africa, we see a conflict between an elephant and hippos. According to the cameraman, the elephant stood alone for a long time, but then a trio of hippos showed up. The animals looked at each other at first, then the elephant moved forward and broke the tree. The frightened hippos jumped into the water and quickly swam away. According to the cameraman, the hippos were young and just learning to interact with the elephants, and the elephant just wanted to cross the river, but it looked like a little conflict. And this footage was already filmed in Zimbabwe. 
the hippo was on its way to a pond that was surrounded by elephants. Its actions did not please one of the males. First, the elephant turned around, pointed its trunk toward the hippo, and sprayed it, simultaneously trumpeting loudly. Without waiting for a reaction, it got angry, let out a loud, low scream, and slapped the hippo on the back with its trunk to drive it away from the water. Only then did the hippo speed up. Pull it in, Winifred. And here, the elephant itself had already visited the hippo's territory. The giant decided to wade through a body of water where several dozen giants were resting at once. Most of the hippos knew that it was better not to mess with the elephant, so they let it pass. But one of them was in a bad mood. The hippo tried to bite the elephant's tail and chased it almost all the way to the shore. Fortunately for it, the elephant was in a good mood that day. It didn't trample on it, but only lightly kicked it with its foot. This quickly cooled the hippo's ardor, and it left the elephant alone. Tiger Few predators can adequately assess the situation because they're driven by their instincts. As it turned out, tigers are among the most intelligent predators, as the following footage proves. This time, the footage was taken in India. We see a tiger lying in the way of an elephant. The predator doesn't see it yet, so it's calm. But when the elephant gets closer, the tiger turns to it and instantly jumps up, then runs off into the bushes. The tiger behaved correctly. It didn't want to get into a senseless conflict and gave way to the giant. It knew for sure. Animals shouldn't mess with such big guys like elephants. Elephants are not the only herbivores capable of putting predators to flight. Rhinos, hippos, buffaloes, or giraffes are not easy prey either. Speaking of the latter, did you know that giraffes use their long necks to spar with their congeners? They even use the services of referees. Let's see what else these animals are capable of. Giraffe versus Giraffe In the Zambezi National Park near Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe, biologist Angela Ferguson managed to capture two giraffes preparing for a fight, but it didn't end because something went wrong. In the video, the giraffes circle around each other until one of them starts headbutting its opponent trying to knock it down. As a result, it slightly overdoes it and picks up its opponent's hind leg with its head, straightening up and scooting it high into the air. Its opponent, meanwhile, walked nonchalantly in a small circle on three limbs. The biologist who filmed the giraffes said that they were not going to have a full-scale fight. One of them is much younger than the other and behaves rather modestly, clearly trying to avoid confrontation. Although the clash never turned into a full-fledged fight, the giraffes actually fight their rivals in a very dangerous way using their most impressive body part, necks. Giraffes fight to win the sympathy of females or simply to prove their dominance in a territory. During such a fight, they can use small but hard horns and sharp hooves, which with proper accuracy can be extremely dangerous. The main purpose of such a fight is to knock an opponent down. Another similar case was caught on camera in South Africa. Two giraffes put up a fierce fight in front of visitors to a local wildlife refuge. According to Wayne Howarth, who led the tour, giraffes fought over a female standing nearby. The fight was short but equal until one of the males went for a trick. The winner of the confrontation hooked the hind leg of its rival with its neck and toppled it to the ground. Fair Fight A team of biologists from the University of Manchester studied northern giraffes in the Magalakwena River Lodge in South Africa between November 2016 and May 2017. The new study found that giraffes choose opponents roughly the same size as them, which has been interpreted as a noble example of fair play. However, it may be more prosaic than that. Seeing their opponents' clear superiority, giraffes don't engage them. The researchers found that sparring, allowing the rivals to assess the balance of power, was most often observed in young males, as well as between males that were more or less comparable in size. At the same time, fights between males of similar sizes were characterized by high intensity and short duration. In other words, they were fairly vicious but short skirmishes. These results support the assumption that sparring mainly serves to test the competitiveness of adult males without escalating into full-fledged fights, the authors of the study noted. The team also noticed a bar-brawl effect, with one fight provoking fights by other giraffes nearby. Surprisingly, the fights had referees other males that sometimes interrupted clashes between younger ones. 
The researchers also found that sparring showed a seasonal peak that coincided with the beginning of the rainy season. This understanding of giraffe behavior allows zoos and gamekeepers and sanctuaries to take better care of the animals. By the way, not so long ago, it was discovered that giraffes are not one species, but four. This was shown by the study of the genome. Outwardly, it's not so easy to distinguish giraffes of different species, but these species separated on the genetic branch long ago, from 230 to 370,000 years ago. In the wild, they don't mix, but in zoos, the difference between species doesn't stop giraffes from playing love games and giving birth to hybrid offspring. Also in 2017, a villager in Garissa County, Kenya, saw two white giraffes. The species was identified as the endangered reticulated giraffe. The two animals represented a family, a mother and its baby. With the help of the camera, it was possible not only to capture the beauty of white giraffes, but also to get the first image of two animals with leukemia. It's a genetic disorder that prevents the normal formation of pigment within epithelial cells. It differs from albinism in that dark pigment can still be produced inside the tissues, so the mother and baby had dark eyes and a slight discoloration in some places on the body. Lions versus Giraffes Giraffes have almost no natural enemies. However, the lion is one of the few that dares to attack these giants. In the world of wildlife, predators do not necessarily choose a prey of their own size or smaller. The prey may exceed their size. But then hunting techniques, tactics, and strategy come into play. Visitors to Kruger National Park in South Africa were lucky enough to see such a spectacular fight between a lion pride and a single giraffe. According to the guide Francois Pinard, in the early morning he accompanied a group of tourists on a sightseeing tour of the park and saw five lionesses chasing a giraffe. The chase lasted about 20 minutes, after which two of the lionesses grabbed hold of the giraffe's hind legs and the third one jumped on its back. This is a common attack tactic for lions. The third lioness in such cases should chew up the neck of the victim. However, when this neck is almost six and a half feet long, it's not easy to reach. The giraffe nonchalantly continued on its way with its new cargo and two more chasing lions. After five hours, the patience of the predators ran out and they retreated. By the way, it was a risky venture for the big cats themselves because a giraffe can break a lion's backbone with one blow of a hoof. Again, this is Kruger National Park in South Africa where a group of at least eight lionesses surrounded a giraffe. Hungry predators surrounding their victim one by one ran up trying to bite, but despite the numerical superiority, lionesses couldn't knock the tall beast down. The giraffe, in turn, fought off the huntresses with his legs. Anyone that approached it was immediately kicked with a hoof. Most likely, the lionesses wanted to wear it down. It would be tired by nightfall, and by that time, the males from the pride would be ready to help. In the dark, the cat's eyesight is particularly keen, and the giraffe would have had no chance. However, as in the previous case, everything ended much earlier and the lionesses simply retreated. The giraffe is the tallest land animal on the planet. Already at birth, the baby is 5.9 feet tall and weighs about 110 pounds. The female giraffe gives birth standing up and the newborn falls to the ground from a height of six and a half feet. This doesn't affect its health in any way. On the contrary, the fall triggers the process of breathing. In an hour, the baby can stand firmly on its feet, and in a few hours, it can run. It was at this point that a family of giraffes was caught on camera by a group of tourists exploring Masai Mara National Reserve. The baby giraffe, barely mastering its first steps, immediately ran to explore the territory not realizing that hyenas and a lioness were watching it closely. However, the hyenas quickly lost interest in the prey, not wanting to confront the queen of the jungle, and the lioness continued to wait for its chance and chase the baby for three and a half miles. The mother accompanied the baby giraffe, pushing it with its legs away from the lioness, but it played a low-down trick. At some point, the baby fell into a ravine. This gave the predator an advantage. It pounced on the helpless baby and dragged it into the water. People watched the events with bated breath, not having the right to interfere in the natural course of events. Everyone was sure that the calf was dead, but the female giraffe finally managed to descend into the ravine and chase the lioness away again. Giraffe versus Crocodile We're back in Kruger National Park. 
tourists witnessed a heartbreaking scene. A giraffe escaped the jaws of a crocodile but became easy prey for the lion's pride. Tour guide Mario Paul, who noticed the giraffe's strange behavior, filmed the scene. Originally, the guide and his group were looking for leopards but were the first to see the giraffe near the river. At first, they thought the animal might have stumbled, but they soon spotted a 16-foot crocodile clinging to the giraffe's leg. They looked more closely and realized the animal was in a tricky situation. The giraffe tried to stand up, but it kept falling. In the end, the crocodile let the animal go, but the giraffe couldn't move because of the leg injury. A group of lions watching immediately attacked the giraffe. Do you think a crocodile could drag an adult giraffe underwater? Share your opinion in the comments and also get ready to dive in because the next protagonist of this episode is the octopus. These cephalopods are known for their incredible intelligence and ability to get out of the most confusing situations. But will it help them in the fight against birds, sharks, moray eels, and other sea creatures? Let's find out! Octopus vs. Bird A tourist shot a frightening video of an octopus hunting a seagull. The footage shows how the hungry mollusk rose to the surface of the sea where the bird was swimming, jumped up, wrapped its tentacles around the victim and pulled it to the bottom. The battle between them lasted almost five minutes and was accompanied by unsuccessful attempts of the seagull to fly above water. Judging by the video, what happened also amazed the second bird, which happened to be nearby and even swam closer to have a proper look at the duel. Octopus and Crab The video was filmed by American divers in the coastal waters off Monterey, California. A pair of scuba divers witnessed an unusual martial art competition. In a fight against even a small octopus, a crab has no chance. The only thing he can do is to evade the predatory tentacles. In fact, the crab did it with enviable dexterity. The fight had already lasted long enough when a seal came to the aid of the crab and ate the octopus, to the laughter of the cameraman. The author of the video later said that He's often accompanied by the seal on underwater trips, which he and his partner nicknamed Whiskers. He learned to use the light of divers' flashlights to hunt fish. This time, he too swam with them and then disappeared somewhere. Later, the divers spotted a battle on the bottom and were filming until Whiskers returned and intervened in the battle. Octopus vs. Moray Eel Diver Chris Kreese witnessed a fierce fight between a moray eel and an octopus near Australia's Bear Island, New South Wales. One day, Chris was diving to a rocky reef with his son and wife as if nothing had happened and saw many octopuses on the ocean floor. One of the larger clams spotted the humans and tried to hide behind a rock, but a moray eel, a deadly predator, was waiting for it around the corner. It opened its jaws and lunged at the octopus in an attempt to bite it. The recording which Kreese made shows how the mollusk tried to defend itself by emitting ink into the predatory fish. However, the tactic didn't work. The moray eel grabbed the cephalopod with its teeth. Unlike some insects or lizards, octopuses cannot drop their own body parts at will in case of danger. However, they're not afraid of losing a limb as a result of injury. This is what happened in front of the diver. The octopus allowed the moray eel to bite one of the tentacles which will later grow back. Then the cephalopod swiftly swam away, enveloping the enemy in a thick cloud of ink. Having lost its prey, the bewildered moray eel went to another object that seemed appropriate, the diver. But he, too, preferred to leave the scene of the battle. Octopus and Pufferfish In the Seychelles, off the coast of Fregat Island, divers Chris Taylor and Carrie Miller were viewing a coral reef. They were able to videotape a fight between an octopus and a pufferfish. The octopus tried to drag the pufferfish into a gap between the coral but was unsuccessful. It behaved aggressively, not wanting to give in to the fight and even bloated, as all pufferfish do in this case. When the octopus changed tactics, it came out of hiding and wrapped its tentacles around the enemy, almost completely covering it. But even in this case, the fish managed to repel the attack. Fifteen minutes later, the divers left the battlefield, never knowing which creature came out the winner. But it's worth noting that pufferfish are very poisonous. One individual can poison up to 30 people. But this doesn't scare Japanese chefs, who are preparing the fugu dish from these poisonous creatures. Octopus, by the way, can also secrete venom. 
scientists believe that all octopuses are venomous to one degree or another. Octopus vs. Octopus Marine biologists managed to videotape a battle between two octopuses. In the course of the battle, it turned out that the mollusks throw at each other shells and other objects. The fact that the body of the octopus includes a so-called siphon, which acts as a jet engine when moving. Using a siphon, octopuses also direct a stream of water to chase away annoying fish, clean the dwelling from debris, and find food. Analyzing videotapes made during an expedition off the coast of New South Wales and Australia, experts concluded that octopuses can move objects with a stream of water from a siphon according to their purpose, for example, during a fight. The animals from this video were the so-called gloomy octopuses. As the scientists explained, they collect a bunch of shells, stones, and other objects in their tentacles and then, directing a stream of water at them, throw them at the desired distance. Octopus vs. Shark In a fight with an adult shark, an octopus will definitely lose. This sea creature can be dangerous only for young sharks and small species. The prey of the octopus can become, for example, a small bottom-dwelling shark. As a rule, the mollusk paralyzes it with venom and then drags it off into its den to slowly eat it. However, these cases are very rare and even a small shark can give it a head start thanks to its perfect teeth. For its defense, the mollusk may try to use saliva with a paralyzing substance, but even this doesn't always help. Most sharks deal with soft-bodied prey in no time. In theory, the most serious enemy of a shark might be the giant Pacific octopus, the largest octopus in the world. Their average weight is from 6 to 33 pounds, but individuals weighing more than 132 pounds and up to 10 feet long have been recorded. The span of their tentacles can even reach 23 feet. They're also highly intelligent. The species is found in the Pacific Ocean waters from Japan to Kamchatka and off the coast of California. The octopus will use all available means, from wrestling to tricks and cunning, to fight its opponent. The octopus has no teeth, but it has a beak. It's horny, hooked, and easily bites through the bones of fish and shells of crabs. Of course, it can't be compared with the mouth of a shark. But the octopus has a head start in cunning. For example, it will be able to reject a tentacle which the enemy grasps. The rejected tentacle will wriggle, the predator will focus on it, and at this time the octopus will safely leave the place of the fight. An even more famous defense mechanism of octopuses is ink screen. By the way, in recent decades, biologists have made an unexpected discovery. It turned out that the traditional notion of cephalopods' smoke screen should be thoroughly reconsidered. Observations have shown that the ink emitted by cephalopods does not dissolve immediately, not before bumping into something. They hang in the water as a dark and compact drop for up to 10 minutes or more. But the most striking thing is that the shape of the drop resembles the outline of the animal that emitted it. Predator grabs this drop instead of its fleeing prey. Then the drop explodes and envelops the enemy in a dark cloud. Octopuses are intelligent creatures capable of competing with dolphins, crows, and chimpanzees in terms of intelligence. Speaking of primates, in addition to their love of berries, bananas, and other fruit, some of them, such as baboons, prefer a meat diet and are able to hunt some birds. Confrontations between baboons and flamingos, attacks on the leopard, lion, and crocodile are further in this episode. Baboons are hunters. First on the list are the yellow baboons. Their habitat is the steppes and mountainous areas of Middle and East Africa. Many other animal species live in such an area, so they have many natural enemies. But since yellow baboons live in troops, they defend and hunt together. Baboons are omnivores and can eat both plant and animal foods. The place of action is the Great Rift Valley, Lake Bogoria. Baboons and flamingos are neighbors here. They coexist in harmony, but sometimes the baboons can attack. One summer, about four million flamingos came to the lake. They filled everything around them. Some of the baboons have never seen so many birds and don't know how to behave with them. It's very unusual for them. Some of the young monkeys have decided that, out of fruit and easy prey, it's preferable to taste new meat. This happens quite rarely, so the cameraman was lucky enough to catch this event on camera. Perhaps nature is balancing out the delicate balance in this way. Baboons versus Leopard 
a tourist managed to capture an amazing event. On the bank of the pond, the leopard is surrounded by a very large crowd of baboons. Obviously, the strength of the parties here is not equal. Leopards are usually lone hunters, while baboons are capable of banding together. We can assume that the leopard has wandered into the waterhole, extremely unlucky, and got caught by a troop of aggressive monkeys. After all, when it comes to defending their territories, baboons become very ferocious and can even kill a leopard due to their numerical superiority. Even such a large and formidable cat has no choice but to retreat quickly so as to not run into trouble. The leopard quickly escapes, overtaking the monkeys, and climbs a tree, trying to take cover in the foliage, but the baboons follow it. Some go back, but most seem determined to continue the chase. Let's hope that the leopard has escaped and that it won't be so reckless as to trespass again. Baboons vs. Crocodile The Kwando Reserve in Botswana The monkeys run and frolic on the bank of the reservoir, and one of them sits in the water. There seem to be no signs of trouble. This baboon was about to get out of the water, but suddenly it turns out that there was a crocodile next to it the whole time. It almost succeeds in grabbing the baboon and dragging it under the water, but the ape congeners are sitting nearby and see everything. They immediately start shouting loudly, calling to the others for help, and manage to pull the baboon to dry land. They bite and kick the crocodile until it hurriedly gets back in the water. <laughs> what a cohesion! Baboon vs. Lion A unique moment was captured by a safari tourist in the western Serengeti. A lioness and a baboon are in the frame. This is already unusual because both lions and baboons usually walk in groups. The baboon, which is one and a half to two times smaller than the lioness, chases it like a little kitten to the amusement of the audience. The predator runs from it in a circle, turning back. Finally, they both come to a standstill. It seems the chase is over and it's time to separate, but the lioness still stands still, as if waiting for something to happen. The baboon observes it in contemplation to chase it further or not, sensing the approaching danger. But suddenly, three more lionesses appear in the frame, and it becomes clear why the predator has been standing for so long. It was waiting for backup to arrive so that it could attack its prey as a group. But this, too, is strange behavior for lionesses because usually they chase bigger preys. But none of that matters anymore because the baboon can't escape. It's surrounded on both sides and becomes their prey. A baboon attacking a lioness sounds crazy, but it's not the strangest confrontation of this episode. A horse attacks a crocodile, a pit bull pounces on a bison, a donkey bites a hyena, and a cat chases a bear away. Let's take a look at the strangest and most unexpected animal confrontations. Horse and Crocodile Fight The last thing you think you'll ever see is a crocodile fighting a horse. It's impossible to imagine under what insane circumstances this could have happened, but still, such an incident was caught on camera. The horse clearly thought it would have no trouble defeating the crocodile, having the advantage on land. Deuce a bit. It fought back by biting its legs. Apparently, the black horse didn't quite like the sharp teeth of the formidable predator, and it quickly ran away to a safe distance. And the winner crawled back to where it was originally headed. Shepherd Dog and Electric Eel This German shepherd dog sure learned its lesson the hard way. It had to learn to stay away from electric eels by bitter experience. It's not clear why the dog got to the eel at all, but the eel used its classic method of defense against the attack of enemies. It did it so successfully that the shepherd dog, whining pitifully, ran away from it a few feet. Snake and Pitbull Snakes are frequent guests on summer cottages, and this guard dog also managed to encounter one. But the snake's aggression was the biggest mistake for the snake itself as this tailed protector was literally born for such fights. The snake wriggles and hisses as it prepares to jump, but the dog knows beans either. It moves deftly to retaliate and eventually manages to grab the unwanted guest. Bison and Pitbull the pit bull was successful with the snake and apparently decided to try its luck with the bison. Of course, these videos show different dogs, but that doesn't change the fact that this breed seems completely fearless. This pit bull decided to attack the bison and was even taken aback when it failed. It's a good thing it had good sense to think fast and turn around before its opponent got angry. Jesus Christ! 
Great Richard! Cat and Snake The snake tried to sneak up on this domestic cat, but it seemed to have spent its life practicing its trademark blows for the fight. The snake clearly didn't enjoy serving as a punching bag, so it abandoned the idea of pestering the furry fighter. The Leopard That Attacked the Warthog This leopard was trying to chase one of the warthogs, but the baby's mother would do anything to protect its family. It's unclear how it managed to throw the leopard up, but the big cat in any case clearly didn't expect such a rebuff and ran far away from this family. The Cunning Killer Whale The killer whale has devised a truly ingenious way of baiting its prey. Surrounded by birds, it pretends to share its food with them, but when the naive prey gets close, it immediately becomes a snack for the clever giant. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Zebras and pigs that didn't get along. These pigs are definitely hanging out in the wrong company. The zebras aren't going to put up with one little piggy getting under their feet and biting, so one of the zebras decided to put the pig in its place after all. It started kicking and raising a dust. However, the scuffle ended in a draw. Kangaroo Rat Everyone knows that snakes often feed on smaller animals, and such are often rodents. In particular, kangaroo rats. And so it was this time. If not for the instantaneous reaction of this kangaroo rat, it would have easily become a midnight snack for the snake lurking in the grass. But as soon as the latter made a dash to grab its prey, the rodent jumped above the ground in time, and it did so repeatedly. What an amazing reaction. The Cat Who Was Not Afraid of the Bear Do you think an ordinary domestic cat would be afraid of a bear? Not this time. The fluffy, red-haired hunter elegantly sneaks up to the bear, standing a few meters away, and then runs up sharply. Startled, the bear climbs the tree at breakneck speed. The cat doesn't dare chase its prey and approaches the cameraman unselfconsciously. Eh, I'll get him later. You've gone soft. Hey! I may have let myself go a little since retirement, but hanging on my sword was the best decision of my life. The Masochistic Leopard The action takes place on some road, and eyewitnesses can see an amazing sight. The leopard approaches the porcupine running away on short legs, and doesn't lag behind it in any way, trying to figure out how to get close to the prey. With wounded paws and no self-pity, the leopard keeps trying to get its opponent. In the end, the winner is the possessor of razor-sharp back armor. The hyena that attacked the donkey The cheeky hyena tried to pester the donkey, but the donkey didn't take long to put the hyena in its place. Next time, it'll think twice before it messes with the donkey. Dog and Iguana This dog is clearly better at barking than acting, as it cowardly yields immediately when it encounters the massive iguana. The iguana was not distinguished by excessive patience and decided to show the dog who not to bark at. The dog immediately ran away from such an opponent. The Cheeky Crane This unprincipled crane, walking along the paths of the zoo, suddenly decides that it's allowed anything. As it approached the cage of a hungry eagle, it tried to pull the prey caught by the ladder through the bars. The reaction of the distraught eagle is not long in coming as it grabs the insolent bird by the head so firmly that the bird remembers it for a long time. Yeah, this should help you remember. The Mongoose That Attacked the Snake This charming mongoose doesn't look like a formidable dueling machine at all. It seems that this seemingly harmless animal was definitely not expected to attack the black snake. In a brief fight, they tumble several times, clawing at each other. After which, the mongoose checks its victory with a final bite. Kangaroo and Dog This inquisitive dog just wanted to mess around with the kangaroo in the water, but it almost drowned during this game. The kangaroo takes advantage of its tall stature by standing on its hind legs while the dog was trying to get it. The cunning kangaroo decided not to engage in a direct and fair fight with the dog and guessed to keep it underwater. Screams can be heard in the background. Those are most likely from the dog's owner. It's a pity that there's no continuation of the video, and it's still unknown how this duel ended. I hope the dog admitted defeat and retreated. The Ruthless Horse In the wrong place, at the wrong time, is how the following case can be characterized. This defenseless chick was grabbed by a ruthless horse and swallowed by it in a second. The 
The chick's mother was furious that its baby had become a snack for the animal. The leopard hunting the monkey. This hungry leopard does backflip to catch the nimble monkey, then in turn fights for its precious life. Eyewitnesses watching the fight can see the fantastic somersaults in the air performed by the big cat willing to do anything for lunch. The fox and the bald eagle who did not share the prey. Obviously, this fox was in no mood to share its prey with anyone, but the giant bald eagle thought otherwise. The fox was forced to flee, but the bird had a clear advantage in the field, so the bald eagle won an easy victory in this instant fight. The dog that attacked lions. This dog apparently wanted to prove that dogs are cooler and stronger than cats. The dog's choice of cat, though, didn't quite seem right to me. The lions, of course, were shocked by such impudence, but they quickly realized that the dog was completely harmless to them. By the way, this confirms the interesting fact that dogs are not aware of their size. Because of this feature, small decorative dogs are not shy to bark at huge guard dogs. Or as in this case, the dog was not afraid of two huge lions. The lion that barely escaped from the buffalo. The hungry lion decided to eat a buffalo and, unsuspecting, began a series of somersaults around its prey. However, a couple of moments later, its main task becomes to save its life as a couple of congeners arrive to help the buffalo. One of the defenders tosses the lion into the air several times. It seems that this breakfast will be remembered by the careless predator for a long time. The fight with the buffalo did some damage to the lioness. The video shows how it limps after an unsuccessful hunt but lions are social animals, and thanks to the pride, the lioness has a chance to survive after the injury. But it's not just the lions that get together in groups. Their constant opponents, hyenas, also live in families. So which creature is the real king and menace of the African continent? To the question, who is the king of the jungle, many people will answer without hesitation, the lion. But is it really so? Maybe the real king is a hyena, or rather, the queen. Let's take a look at this menace of Africa in action. Now you see a hyena and a lioness both hunting the same buffalo, competing with each other. From the outside, it may seem that the lioness is much stronger than the hyena and can easily deal with it, and therefore it has nothing to fear except the buffalo itself. The big cat's the first to make a move, pouncing on the buffalo. It easily knocks it down and begins to gnaw at the buffalo, squinting at the hyena. Did you notice that? The lioness can't eat quietly while the hyena is around, as if the hyena could pounce at any moment, though it's much smaller and weaker. And the hyena doesn't go anywhere and doesn't think the fight's lost. The lioness is confused by this, and it doesn't proceed with its meal. Eventually, it just walks away, but the hyena doesn't approach the body either for fear of provoking the lioness. But why does the big cat retreat? Because where there's one hyena, there are others, and always so. The lioness knows this well, and it understands that it can't deal with them itself, so it retreats, and when the lioness leaves, the hyena quietly takes all the meat. But what happens when not just one hyena comes, but the whole clan? In this footage, you can see the fight between hyenas and the lioness. They try to surround it in order to not let it escape, but they try not to move far away so that they can eat it if necessary. There are so many of them that the lioness has no chance, which it's well aware of so it hurries away in order to save its life. It runs into the water and makes the mistake of stopping. At this point, the first hyenas push it and come in behind, and the others, wasting no more time, immediately pounce on the poor cat, literally swarming it. It tries to escape again and then stops again. You can see that the lioness has almost no strength left, but it still fights to the end. The hyenas surround it again while it's in the water. What happens next, I think, is clear to everyone. When I first learned about this, I was shocked, to say the least. Few people knew it, but hyenas are one of those animals that practice siblicide, dueling to the last breath with their brothers and sisters. In this footage, the hyenas are still small and one of them is trying to maul the other. This is practiced in all clans. At birth, hyenas have a keen desire to fight, which disappears over time, giving way to patience for their congeners and teamwork. But right now, it's a siblicide attack. One of the cubs is clawing at the neck of its own brother. Far from always, the result of such fights is the end of life of one of the cubs. More often, it's the establishment of hierarchical relations 
and demonstration of force to show which creature is more important. Mostly, such a demonstration is used in food sharing. The one that defeats the strongest one rightfully takes for itself a larger piece than the others. Researchers studied data on spotted hyena populations in Kenya over three decades to study the mortality of cubs younger than a year. Of the 99 recorded cases, 21 could be attributed to family cases. The observations made scientists wonder why hyenas have such a high mortality rate from members of their clan. It seems counterintuitive because they're social animals. Although hyenas spend most of their time alone, living in a clan allows them to defend their territory against rivals and confront lions. Females will attack others' cubs the same way they attack smaller prey. And in this case, even close kinship is not saving. Scientists observe how the female aimed at its sister's two cubs, luring them out of the den. The reason for this behavior is the social position of hyenas in the clan. In their communities, males have come and go, while females are permanent members. Aggressive actions determine which hyenas are considered in charge. Female cubs that reach adulthood have a maternal line, and this raises their status. In almost all cases, females that showed aggression had a higher status than the victim's mother. This suggests that some females may use this type of reprisal to cut off the lineage of their rivals. Hyenas are very strong creatures that many animals in Africa fear. But there are even more agile, cunning, and ruthless creatures on this continent that are feared by the hyenas themselves. Stay tuned to learn about these animals and see them in action. African Wild Dog Yes, they are the menace of hyenas and other animals in Africa. But how is it that these animals, with their light weight, small size, and let's face it, not much strength, are so dangerous? It's all about their tactics and lifestyle. African wild dogs live in large families of 12 to 100 individuals, occupying areas from 386 to 772 square miles. Each family is headed by an alpha female and an alpha male. All males of the pack are subordinate to the alpha male, and all females are subordinate to the alpha female. Only the alpha pair marks the territory of the pack. During the breeding season, other members of the pack do so as well. Their close kinship ties between all members of the pack. All animals treat each other tolerantly and without aggression. In a pack of African wild dogs, there are never fights over leadership, food, or any other reason. Mutual aid, understanding, and support prevail in such groups. The strongest members of the pack always take care of the babies, old and sick members of the family. When the dogs are not busy hunting, they always spend time together playing or relaxing. African wild dogs are tireless hunters of the African vastness. They live by the laws of the pack, but in the pack there is always love, support, and understanding. They are agile hunters, each hunt being successful 80% of the time. African wild dogs hunt in the early morning and sometimes in the late evening when the heat's off. The animals announce the start of the hunt with a battle cry of Ho Ho, which the dogs exchange with each other. As a rule, the whole pack goes hunting except for pups and the female dog that looks after them. That's their strength. In a one-on-one -on -one situation, they'll lose to many predators, but due to their number, they can defeat both a lion and a buffalo. That's why the king of the jungle will think twice before approaching these dogs. To start the hunt, usually one of the members of the pack approaches each of their congeners and with a nudge of its nose, tries to raise them from their places. If no one in the pack rises, the initiator returns to its place and dutifully waits until the rest of the group is hungry. African wild dogs do not hunt alone. Dogs versus Hyenas A fight between hyenas and African wild dogs comes to your attention. A small group of dogs stroll through their territories, inspecting them for intruders. They are by no means all dogs, but only border guards. One of them spots an unwanted guest and makes eye contact with it. In the wild savanna, this is tantamount to a direct challenge. Go ahead and attack if you're strong enough. The hyena doesn't like this attitude. Together with its companion, it approaches the dogs to get to the bottom of such impudence. But as it turns out, there are more dogs. So the hyena will not attack a weaker opponent, realizing that while it will roll this one on the ground, the others will pounce on top and even its partner won't help anything. The dogs, in turn, test the hyena's defenses to learn its weaknesses. Thanks to the well-oiled interaction, while one dog distracts, the other goes around the side, checking for the possibility of an attack. The others, though standing off to the side, carefully wait for the signal to attack. When the defense is probed, all that remains is to wait for the opponent's first mistake. One of the hyenas couldn't take it anymore and decided to run away. 
but the dogs decided not to let it go. The hyena seems to have accidentally wandered into African wild dogs' territory. Well, these animals are considered the most dangerous predators for a reason, so this hyena is easily handled. They surround it, bite it, move away, and so on until the hyena is exhausted. Because of the dog's attacks, the hyena has to twist like a whirly gig, but that doesn't save it. In the end, the hyena is exhausted and doesn't even always react to the bites. One eyewitness managed to capture the African wild dogs hunting the hyena. They seem to have decided to take the hyena's prey by force and chase it away at the same time. While one group of dogs keeps the hyena surrounded, the other group divides the prey. When they decide that the hyena is no longer a threat to them, the first group joins them so as not to miss the feast. The hyena is persistent and tries to take its food once more, but the dogs are not fools and immediately react to it, making it clear that it won't succeed this time. When the hyena's companions come to it, the dogs decide not to risk it one more time but to wait for reinforcements and get the food together. The hyenas seem to have won this time, but in my opinion that's only because there weren't many dogs and the rest of the pack was somewhere else. Dogs versus Lions It's all clear with hyenas, they can be defeated singly, but what about the lion, the king of the jungle? Can't even it fight back against these dogs? In theory, in this case, everything is even easier than with the hyenas. With them, the dogs would divide into a large group, preventing a pack of hyenas from escaping, and a small group fighting one of the hyenas. Here, they don't have to divide up, they can attack a lion that's defenseless against such a big group. Or they can attack a lioness, as in this video. But as with the hyenas, the African wild dogs usually probe the lion's defenses first, not letting them break away and trying to surround them. In this footage, the wild animals use the same technique. They chase the lioness trying to surround it in a ring. When the dogs succeed, they alternately bite the lioness and immediately move back. One of the dogs was unlucky and the predator was able to kill it quickly, but the pack of wild dogs will never forgive it. Now the lioness cannot get away from them. They're using the old scheme to wear down their opponent, waiting for it to finally weaken. I think the outcome is clear. Well, that